Welcome to another Guitar Conversations. I'm absolutely delighted and very honoured to have with me today one of the most important acoustic guitar players of all time, Mr. Pierre Bensusan. Well, I'm honoured. Thank you so much, Martin, for having um, me. Nice to see you again, and uh, it's always a pleasure to, to hear you play. What was the piece of music you just played there? Yeah, uh, it was called Le Voyage pour l'Irlande. Ah, OK. <laughs> yeah. Great. So, uh, what, one of the things I, we always like to talk about here is really ev every guitar player's journey in music. Uh, there are similarities, but there's always little differences of our musical paths. Now, your path really started in music, playing piano. Mm, classical piano. So yeah. how did that affect when you started to play guitar? Um, <clears throat> I think I, it really helped me for hearing music, hearing harmony, um, pitch, intonation, um, listening carefully. And also, it helped my fingers definitely, especially when I when I moved to to having to do those big stretchings, playing in that guy, you know, like something like wow. this. At the beginning, it was like, oh my god, I would never get it. And <laughs> my stretch again. That's like my hands. My hands was, in fact, my hand was available. My hand had the memory. Wow, that's uh, that's six frets and low down too. Well, you can also do. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Spider-Man. I have, I have, a, I have a few, a few tips to give to people to, to work the elasticity of those interpalmar muscles. That's good. We'll you know. get into that in, in a little while. Sure. So when you started to play piano, what, what age were you then? I was six or seven. And then the guitar? When I was eleven. Okay, so, so you had quite a few years of, of playing the piano. When you played piano, did you study theory? as well at the same time? Absolutely not. No. It was straight playing notes and read at the same time. So when you were playing piano, did you understand what you were playing? Did no. You, you didn't understand no, the I, instruction? I, not at all. Well, not at six or seven years old. Not yeah. me anyway. But I, I understood intuitively what was going on, but I could not say exactly why it was working. I was just listening to the beauty and it was talking to me. The thing is, well, my, my teacher was clever. She had me to read, to learn reading as I was learning the keyboard and playing, which means that after one year and a half, I was sight reading without even knowing about it. Mm. Can you sight read well on guitar? Too? Not at all. No. I can, I can write everything I play, and then I can read again based on what I wrote, but no, I'm not, I'm not a good reader anymore. Another great guitar player that I also admire tremendously is Ralph Towner. Oh my God. And he started as a, a piano player mm -hmm. and then became, and actually played jazz piano. Mm -hmm. And he didn't take up the guitar until I think he was 26 or 27. That's amazing. He told me. And he, but he took up classical guitar. Yeah. And there's a question that I asked him, I'll ask you, what did you take, I know you've, you've said about the stretching the fingers, what did you take from the piano to the guitar or was it like starting playing music from the beginning, all over again. Well, it felt like it was starting playing music from the beginning, but in fact, it was not. Uh, I, in fact, I realized later that my musical journey was just going on on a different, a different level. But it was still, I was still addressing the same things. I was still remembering what my teacher told me when I was uh, approaching a new piece and how I should approach a piece. Mm -hmm. Like on the piano, you you start reading, you know. Uh, one hand, then you read the other hand, then you you play the two hands together. You warm up your hands before addressing the serious music by doing some exercises just to warm up. I was asking her, why do I need to play those scales and this and that? She said, because then you know, your fingers will be ready to play music. So it taught you preparation? She told me about the preparation. She told me about how to respect the music I was playing. She, she was severe enough to make me understand that I had to to not only enjoy myself, but I had to do a good work playing right. It was very, very important for her that all the music was clear and everything. So in fact, she was my, my guitar teacher. She was my teacher. I see. You know, she really led me into the music world with not too much information, but just the essential things that I needed to, 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 to know in order then myself to water them and, and, and put them, you know, in, into what I was doing, which is in fact the same thing. At playing a, a guitar piece, playing a, a piano piece, this is the same thing. You go one step at a time, you, you validate the information, the physical information, the audio information, and you move on and you move on like this. When you 
the early days of playing the guitar, when it was still a lot of it was still a bit of a mystery. Uh, you know, as we're we're discovering things, we're discovering where the notes are. And yeah. It's all a bit mysterious at first. Were there kind of those kind of light bulb moments where every so <laughs> often your piano playing knowledge, suddenly you played something on the guitar and said, "Oh, I know what that is." That came from. I used to do a similar thing on on the piano. Did that did that ever happen? Maybe, but I'm not aware of it. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember having this kind of revelation. But I remember listening to music on the guitar, and then all, all of a sudden I started to relate to it in the same with the same depth that I was related to Rubinstein playing uh, Beethoven or Xifra playing Chopin. Started to make sense to me. It was like. But at first, I really didn't like the guitar. I had no idea what to do with that thing. It was a piece of wood with strings that I didn't even know how to tune them. I didn't want to take lesson. After. My, my piano teacher, I said, if I told to myself, I'm going to learn on my own, I'm not going to learn at all, and I don't want anyone to tell me what to do. I was like, you know, it was whatever it was, that, that, that was what I, what I had then. So I learned how to tune a guitar, standard tuning, by listening to a record, oh. and try to, to listen to which strings were open, which strings were not. And then I found this, this that, that, that's, that's horrible. That must, that must be how the guitar is tuned. That's, and then I learned the piece just by by here. It was Jeux Interdit, like di 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 di. That was my first guitar piece. I didn't know it was a hit in the classical world. For me, it was just so beautiful. It was a soundtrack of this French movie, Jeux Interdit. And so from there, I started to. Then I started to look at the guitar differently. I, I started to, to tell her, maybe you and I are going to be friends, you know, but <laughs> you, it's difficult. You are, you are, you know, the access to the guitar was not obvious at all. When you come from the piano, it's so generous, the pitch, the sing, the, the chords, you have ten fingers. You, and the guitar, it felt like, what is this, you know? It is a mystery. The guitar is, is a, there's a mystery to it. There is a mystery to it. The guitar is saying, well, wait, I'm, you are going to like me, you just have to be patient. <laughs> You're not ready for me yet. <laughs> You're not ready for me yet, but I like you, or, but you are going to like me, but yeah. she liked me already. Yeah. No, I, I, the reason I was asked, started out by asking these questions about the piano is because even though I don't play the piano, I've never played piano, but I listen to piano players and the, the way I developed a solo style of playing really came from listening to the piano and the left hand and the right hand uh, of that listening, in my case, mostly piano players like Bill Evans and Bud Powell. Um, so it's it's just that kind of connection uh, uh, that I'm interested about with you and with, with Ralph uh, as well. Except that I've never never played the piano. But the thing that always fascinates me, you've only got to say the name Pierre Ben Susan, and immediately next to that, Pierre Ben Susan, Dadgad. <laughs> Is it good? Yes, it's very good. Do you think you so? Are, you are Dadgad. You are Mr. Dadgad. So, uh, okay. how how did that come about? You, you said you had the, the standard tuning first of all. Didn't you like the standard tuning? It, not not especially. Oh. Not especially. I liked what what the chords. I liked, uh, you know, how you get to music and things which make sense on a, a harmonic point of view, but. Um, the standard tuning, for some reason, never really spoke to me. When I started mm. to, to to fool around with my tuning pegs and mm. and and how did you discover that? Guy? Just by coincidence, you know, so taking down one one and bass, taking down the two treble. I must admit that does sound nicer than. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> exactly, it sounds nicer. It was like, wow, I like guitar all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah. you know. Now, now I'll play this. Now you play that. It sounds like a guitar store. Yeah, a guitar store, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you are trying a guitar in a store. <laughs> and, and, and what's funny is that a, um, a teacher, a guitar teacher in a music conservatory in Strasbourg told me that he has children, mm. so uh, small hands, yeah? And he has them to tune their guitar in that guy, and they love it. Mm. So he speaks, he speaks immediately to you. So the thing is, so he spoke to me the same way. And it was at a time when I was really, really uh, falling in love with Irish music. And so I saw the road I was going to take. All of a sudden, my, my, my vision was clear. It was like, I'm going to adapt those, those tunes. It's fantastic in this tuning. It makes so much sense. It's almost as if it had been written for the guitar. It felt so adequate. And so that has been my entrance 
into that guy, into into serious guitar. <laughs> 